Hello! I've been doing some junk journaling in my spare time and I have two finished books here, so I thought today I'd flip through them and show you what I've ended up making. It's just a bit of fun using up some of the supplies I have in my stash. These were really fun to put together. Let's get into them, shall we? So this first little one I made from a pamphlet I found in a shop. It was in an accordion shape and I just thought it would be really fun to stick papers on top of it. I've had this paper book for a while, Stamperia Rose Garden I think it is. The papers are really pretty and I've had it for ages and wondering what to do with it, but I eventually took the plunge and I've actually cut quite a lot out of this. Some of the pages are missing, I do still have quite a lot left though, so I'll have to do something else with it, but I just really love the designs. And once I started cutting it up it got easier. I have a few different pads of paper by Stamperia and they're just so beautiful. So here is the front page and then flipping over I made little pockets and I've cut out some of the little pictures that were in the pad of paper. These are meant to be journaling cards. Really I should stick something on the back but the paper's double sided and the back of it was just as lovely so it's really hard to do that. I just thought I'd leave them like that. I had some pink lace that I stuck on and I've just basically done the same thing throughout this entire book. Cutting out these little journaling cards but leaving the backs as they are just because they're so beautiful. I don't even know if I'll write on them but it was more the act of cutting out the pictures and sticking it on the pamphlet which gave me enjoyment. This one didn't actually take too long to put together, it was a couple of days I think. So this is the back of the book and then it reverses over to the other side with more little journaling cards and pockets that I've made by gluing down paper but leaving one side open so that other paper can be stuffed inside. I mean how could I bear to cover the backs of those, they're just so pretty. <laughs> So junk journals can be made of anything really, paper bags, old bits of cardboard, any kind of paper, anything that you have lying around, bits of old ribbon. And if you look on YouTube you'll find so many videos about junk journaling from people who are much better at it than I am. But I find it a very relaxing hobby, cutting out paper and gluing things onto other things. Saving all my old pamphlets and business cards and papering them up to make them look beautiful like this one. I really love how this turned out. But now let's get to this chunky book that I made. This Tiffany and Co book I found on the side of the road. Someone had chucked it out and it was so beautiful. I just couldn't bear to leave it there so I brought it home. It's basically an advertising catalogue and I did take some of the pages out because I knew it would get ridiculously full with the amount of stuff that I would end up putting in and I wasn't wrong there. But it goes into detail about the quality of the diamonds etc. I got this old bit of lace in an op shop so it works well just to tie the book together and keep it somewhat under control. But you can see how chunky it's got because I've made so many pockets and cards to put in it. I left the cover as it was though because it's so beautiful. I papered the inside and then I made this envelope which folds out and it has another envelope inside. Those are recycled envelopes that I got from Christmas and I've just used some of my scrapbooking paper to decorate them and make them prettier. It of course would not go back together on camera so I'll just stuff it in like that. And I pretty much got all of my ideas of how to make these envelopes from watching other YouTube channels. I thought that paper would be really nice to line the book and this is one of the many journaling cards I made with the idea that one writes on the back of them. Now these aqua pages I think were chapter headings in the book so I kept all those because I really love the colour and I've just made some more journaling cards here in a pocket. You'll see that I've used quite a lot of lace as well. It's all just off cuts of lace that I've had in my crafting stash for years or that I've found in charity shops and it's a really great way to use it up. I love that birdie paper too. Here I've attached a tag I made with a paper clip and that book page is from a Shakespeare book that I have pulled apart. It was already falling apart anyway. Book pages make really good backgrounds. Here's another aqua page and I put in a tiny little journaling card here with a pocket and just some other embellishments on that one. A lot of these journaling cards I've made using recycled cardboard as a base and gluing pretty papers on the top. I was thinking of gluing this frame here with something underneath but I haven't done that yet so we'll just move on from that. A lot of the scrapbooking papers I have either were given to me or I've bought them from places and often the tags are made from offcuts of that scrapbooking paper. Scrapbooking scraps. <laughs> that pansy paper I got in Daiso, it was so pretty I couldn't resist it. I chopped up some words just to make an interesting quote. 
and made a little band across the middle of the page to stick this tag inside. I try to leave the backs of the tags blank or use a plain paper so that there is space to write on those cards. I've got all sorts of things on this page, washi tape, clear stickers, these little matching journaling cards. Honestly, I really have no idea what I'm going to do with these. I just really love the act of making them. It's so therapeutic cutting out paper and sticking things onto other things. This page is a collage of pretty papers. I didn't put any pockets on it, but I did put a pocket on the right hand side and made this large journaling card to put in it with matching paper. There's more pink lace there, which I think came off an old camisole. I just chopped it up. These two pages are from another Stamperia pad. I had this bookmark from Greece and I wanted to keep that in there. And I've got all these other mini bookmarks that I cut out from the paper itself. They were too nice to use anywhere else, so I've just kept them in the pocket. I've also got a bit of Shakespeare book paper on this side, and then I made a little pocket out of that door over there with some more ephemera cards that came from the Stamperia pad. I just turned those into little tags and I stick them in the door just because they look really pretty, and I really like the bookish library theme on this page spread. I'd love to hear in the comments if you've ever made a junk journal. At Christmas time, of course, I had some Christmas paper, so I made these cute tags. This is also Stamperia paper, and then I had some cute little stickers, so I've just made a very festive page spread here. And then over the page, I used some butterfly wrapping paper from my birthday on that book and a matching butterfly journal card. This originally had advertising on it, but I liked the lines on the back and so it made its own journaling card. I really like this floral card that I made. And the other one at the front is actually a matching one. They're supposed to be a pair, but I found that both of them on the one page was too bulky, so I moved one to the front there. I have a smaller card in the top pocket now, and this was someone's business card. I loved that moon glow, so I kept that. And I've got some music page here, which also works really well as a background. I found that in a charity shop. More wrapping paper from birthdays. I always find it very difficult to throw wrapping paper out, so this is a really good way to use some of it. And then I made that journaling card to go in there from a bunch of paper scraps. Over the right here, this is a much girlier side, a lot of pink and butterflies. I also used some acrylic paint pearls on the top part of the tag there. So this book really has no theme, it's just whatever I felt like doing at the time. That silver stuff I think came off a bottle and I had been hoarding it for quite a while so I thought I'd stick some in. I really like that page and I stuck with the red theme across the page spread and I even have another card here from that Stamperia paper that I used for my first little journal plus some leftover lace which was really great to help keep the book stuck together because I had ripped pages out. Oh, I made a flip out here and then I've got some little cards that I made inside. I think that flip out was actually made from two envelopes that I stuck together so that you get a pocket on either side. I don't even remember how I made that to be honest, but I actually had this horse tag somewhere else. It ended up matching the paper because I used the same one, so I figured I'd put it in there. And then I have some floral ones over here that came from another scrapbooking page antique shop or something like that. I thought those were so pretty I'd keep them together. And there's the heading of the piece of paper. I did actually stick that in. I think I've left one of the tags out here, haven't I? Yes, I thought I had. That's right. I remember thinking it would go much better on this page because it's red and rose. So flipping on to the next page spread, I've got another one of these belly band things and I inked butterfly stamps onto all of this paper plus this colourful butterfly that I cut out from an ephemera pack that I had. I've got some more wrapping paper from Christmas, and then I paper clipped this particular tag on. It's not a very good one, it's just a bunch of scraps once again. But I figured it would go in the book somewhere, and it covers up some of that wrapping paper, so it's not too plain. Now I've got to get those paper clips back on, oh joy. <laughs> I may end up doing something different with that tag, but it's there for now. I've got more stamped butterfly paper here, and then a whole bunch of other butterflies that I found, along with some stickers that came in another craft kit. I really love this butterfly paper, I had to make a huge tag out of it. The page on the left hand side is actually just a collage of paper scraps, rather than having any pockets. And then over here I've got some more of this butterfly paper, and I made a couple of tags to put into that large deep pocket. 
As you can see, none of them have been written on. I really need to write something. I don't know what. I'd appreciate your suggestions as to what I could write on these journaling cards, or maybe I could even draw something. I had a tiny piece of butterfly paper left, so I made a tab for this journaling card. It makes it easier to pull out of the pocket. And there's another one of those aqua pages that was in the book. So I definitely consider this to be more crafting than art, but there is an artistic element to it, I guess, and that really appeals to me as well. On the left is a collage page, and then on the right I've got a pocket there, and another pocket here. This was a piece of card that came out of something, and it had a little window in it, so I saved it and covered it all with paper. And then I put a tag inside with a picture on it that will peek through that window. I think this actually turned out quite cute. And once I get it back in there, you'll see how the girl is now looking out the window. So I guess when I think of junk journals, it's like putting together all sorts of pieces of junk to make one giant piece of junk. I mean, honestly, what am I going to do with these books? But they are really fun to flip through and I like looking at all of the pretty pieces of paper. So I guess that has a purpose. I could possibly sell them, I guess, or even give them away. It's really hard to give them up, though, because I've put so much work into these, and each one is just so unique. But I'll probably have to move them on eventually, otherwise I'm going to run out of space in my house. So I've got more pages with the same sorts of things. Another little tag here. Various pieces of washi tape that I've stuck down on both sides of the page. And more of that stripy paper, which I seem to have a huge amount of for some reason. I really like that little tag too. And that washi tape came from Daiso. So I'm really glad I picked up this Tiffany book. It ended up being quite a treasure. I'd put some silver paint on the left hand side, accidentally shut the book before it was dry, so the right hand side also has silver paint, but it works out quite well. And I really like this page spread with all of the little tags I've made. A tiny little one inside a larger one. Plenty of places to write on there. I mean, why have a boring old notebook when you can have a junk journal to write in? Although, I do have entirely too many notebooks in my collection too, I really should use them up. Maybe I'll turn them into junk journals. But here is the last page spread. I basically just stuck down some nice papers and I didn't really want to stick anything over the top of them because I liked the look of them. This is the inside cover. And I used some wrapping paper and other bits and pieces along with another envelope that I decorated and then it flips out here with a matching little card inside because I just really like that paper. And of course, more things could go inside the envelope as well. The possibilities are endless, really, for these junk journals. It's just whatever you want to make out of them. The wrapping paper is kind of interesting. It's by William Morris and it's a book of wrapping paper. I found this in a charity shop for a few dollars. None of the wrapping paper had been used and it all comes out into really large squares. It's perforated so you can tear them out. I just thought this would be fantastic for my junk journals and I've still got some of the wrapping paper left that I chose to put in the book. Maybe I'll even wrap some presents with it, but that's probably the artiest thing that I have in this video is that William Morris paper. But this is the end of the book, and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I only filled it in a couple of months. I think I got it in October. So I'll just tie that back up again and kind of pull it down a bit so it's not quite as large. But it is definitely not going to lay flat. There are far too many tags inside. I feel happy that I've accomplished something though. These both turned out really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking through my junk journals. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and you might want to subscribe. I've got a couple of other videos here for you to look at and I'll see you all again really soon in my next video. Have a great day out there and I'll swatch you later. Bye!